Welcome to category number three, movie sword fights. Number one, what 1987 film features a sword fight between the characters Inigo Montoya and the Six-Fingered Man? Number two, armed with the samurai sword, the bride takes on the members of the Crazy 88 in what 2003 Quentin Tarantino film? Number three, Brad Pitt spent six months training with the sword for his role as Achilles in what 2004 film? Number four, it's just a flesh wound, says the Black Knight after both of his arms have been cut off in a sword fight in what 1975 comedy classic? Number five, what 2000 film directed by Ang Lee features a famous sword fighting sequence between Michelle Yeoh and Zhang Zi? Number six, the climactic fight in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace sees Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn engage in a lightsaber duel with what Sith Lord? Number seven, Indiana Jones famously stops a sword fight before it starts by shooting the swordsman in what film? Number eight, what 1995 historical epic set in the Scottish Highlands features an acclaimed sword fighting sequence between Liam Neeson and Tim Roth? Number nine, Antonio Banderas and Katharina Zeta-Jones train closely with legendary Olympic fencer Bob Anderson for their flirtatious sword fight in what 1998 movie? And number 10, what second installment in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise features a sword fight between Jack Sparrow, James Norrington, and Will Turner atop a gigantic runaway wheel? We now pause and rewind the video if you'd like to rehear any of the questions that I just read. And I will now start reading the answers for category number three. Number one, what 1987 film features a sword fight between the characters Inigo Montoya and the Six-Fingered Man? That was The Princess Bride. Number two, armed with a samurai sword, The Bride takes on members of the Crazy 88 in what 2003 Quentin Tarantino film? That is Kill Bill or Kill Bill Volume 1. Number three, Brad Pitt spent six months training with the sword for his role as Achilles in what 2004 film? That was Troy. Number four, it's just a flesh wound, says the Black Knight, after both of his arms have been cut off in a sword fight in what 1975 comedy classic? That is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Number five, what 2000 film directed by Ang Lee features a famous sword fighting sequence between Michelle Yeoh and Zhang Zi? That is Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Number six, the climactic fighting fight in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace sees Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn engage in a lightsaber duel with what Sith Lord? That is Darth Maul. Number seven, Indiana Jones famously stops a sword fight before it starts by shooting the swordsman in what film? That was the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Number eight, what 1995 historical epic set in the Scottish Highlands features an acclaimed sword fighting sequence between Liam Neeson and Tim Roth? That is Rob Roy. Number nine, Antonio Banderas and Catherine Zeta-Jones trained closely with legendary Olympic fencer Bob Anderson for their flirtatious sword fight in what 1998 movie? That was The Mask of Zorro. And number 10, what second installment in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise features a sword fight between Jack Sparrow, James Norrington, and Will Turner atop a gigantic runaway wheel? That is Dead Man's Chest, or Pirates of the Carib Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. You're going to score your round out of 20, and join me next for the picture round, category number four.